Before we need to order. The first point on the agenda is questions and comments from the floor. No. Okay, the next uh, is reports. And before we ask Alice to give the final student report, um, I would like to say on behalf of the board that we are so grateful that you've been here this year. And your enthusiasm and initiatives that you've taken have just added a whole other aspect. Because one of the problems that we have, especially, um, is that we don't have our ear to the ground at school. You do, and you did. And that made a huge difference for us in having a feeling for what's going on and what students are thinking. So I want to thank you, and I want to give you a card with a small gift on behalf of the board that everyone signed and made their own little comments. Yeah. And I'll take a hug. <laughs> Thank you guys too. Um, you know, I, I learn a lot being here, and it's it's made me feel really great, like feeling like I could be a resource to the students here, um, and feeling like I've made a difference this year, and being able to do everyone here justice. Um, yeah, I, I've I really enjoyed it. Um, I've learned a lot about the inner workings of the school, about budgeting, <laughs> um, <laughs> but I've I've really enjoyed all of my time here. It's, it's something I'll take with me for sure. Thank Can I ask you a guys. question? What are you going to be doing once you graduate? Uh, I'm going to college for communications. So obviously having this um, on my resume and also just having this experience is going to really help me okay. in my field. Cool. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Anyway, <laughs> prom and post-prom. So we had our prom held on May 20th at the Rustic Ties venue in Dodgeville. Um, the weather was very nice that day, and so students were able to gather outside of Arkell's for pictures. There was also a photo booth at the venue that we rented, um, and that was a big hit. Students really loved taking pictures, um, and they had props that the photo booth came with, so there were lots of pictures, fun pictures that people got to take. Um, after our prom, at least 150 people attended our post-prom. Uh, students were able to participate in many events. We had a game of Price is Right in the Great Room, an electronic bowl in the gym, a belly flop contest, a slip and side, and well, we always have the prize raffle at the end of the night, which encourage, encourages people to stick it through. Uh, students came together at around 2 o'clock in the middle school gathering space, and they heard from a hypnosis. He shared some of his theories about consciousness and the benefits of hypnotherapy, which is his clinical practice. Um, he had about 10 students join him up in the front where they sat and became hypnotized. Um, took him about seven minutes and kind of just a process of having them ground themselves within their body, like become hyper aware of their senses, which sent them into this hypnotic trance, I suppose. <laughs> um, so once once they were in that trance, he could like get them to stand up and act out these insane scenarios. Um, the Some of the students said that it felt very real. Other students said that they were faking it. <laughs> um, but those, those who did think it was real um, said they came out of it feeling very relaxed and confident. Um, it was really great entertainment for those who weren't participating. Um, and overall, post-prom and prom were very enjoyable for most. And the dedication that SAD, the prom committee, and the junior and senior class officers and advisors put into this event was very obvious. <coughs> so for the first time, um, completing 12 hours of community service and attending a board meeting has been a requirement for seniors to graduate. Um, I spoke with a few seniors about what they did in order to complete this requirement outside of just going to the board meeting and what they thought about the process. Um, many felt that it was an inconvenience to their year, but they did value the work that they did. Um, the students who I've spoken to, because this has been cumulative, like talking to people about their volunteer experiences, so I can tell you a bit each board meeting about what students have done. Um, as I've been talking to them, the most 
impactful events have always been the ones where students can see the direct effect of their actions, such as the prom event that I told you about previously that was held at, I believe, in Copal School that a few students attended. And then um, the Fill the Bus event is always very, very good for students to be a part of. It's right around the holidays and they can see the people that they're giving the food to and be a big part of it. And it's, it's, it's a cumulative event, so you know, they bring the food in and then they're dropping it off seeing people be really touched by what they're doing. Um, and so those, those who actually completed their volunteer hours were, were, are happy with themselves and happy with what they've done. They did still feel worried for those few students who have not completed their hours. Um, you know, since it's a small grade, we, we talk and we know who has not. And we know that it is students who have generally struggled just to complete their high school years, just to not drop out and to pass all their classes. So to be that close to graduating and then possibly not be, being able to because of this new standard that they have to meet is frustrating for us to see. Um, but I think people also understand that it it's just something you, you have to complete, and, and if you think about it, 12 hours really isn't too much time. Um, but they also felt that, say, this requirement had started and been presented to them um, earlier on in their high school career, say sophomore year, um, it would have given those students who are now struggling to meet the requirement more time to do it, to stretch it out, as long as they don't procrastinate. Um, and it would also give them the chance to let these volunteer hours show on their college transcript because by November, you may have four or five hours done and then you have your college transcript in and then you're completing these other volunteer hours that you're, you can't show for. Um, and for many students, this is the first time that they're really putting in volunteer work in it. It might have helped their transcript. Um, but. Otherwise, I, I think it was, me personally, I think it was successful this year. I think people did value it. I think teachers did a really great job, and the school administration did a really great job of providing people with opportunities and pushing them to make sure that they got their hours done. Um, and so I would like to introduce you guys to our new board rep um, and the new class president, class advisors, or not class, the new officers for the senior class. Um, so we had the election yesterday, and um, the new president is Gianna Member. Um, the vice president is McKenna Higgins. Treasurer is Keanu Keith, and secretary is Tori Blakesley. And in for the Board of Education uh, student representative position, we had three people running, um, Eliza Hopkins, Robert Moore, and Dawson Sweet. Um, Robert Moore ended up becoming, being voted into my position, um, and I'm really pleased with that because I got to know him through um, debate club and our politics class, and he shows a lot of dedication to the work he puts into that. Um, so if he puts anywhere near as much research and time into the um, preparation for the debates we do, I think that he will do very well with the reports and talking to students and the care that he demonstrates um, in these situations that I'm in with him where we're talking about topics. Um, you know, I, I can see that he really cares about people and um, the effect that things have on others. Um, so I think he'll be really great for this position, and I, I, I think that he'll bring a lot of care into what he does, and he'll be very good at drafting the reports and staying on top of things and being informed. So, very excited for you all. Okay. Um, any questions? Mm -hmm. I just have one. How is it determined what, uh, what your, your uh, civic engagement will be? I mean, how do you, you're volunteering 
how, how does it, it decide? How do you decide what are you going to do for that one? Um, so we have a website that we go on um, that the school set up. It's called X Two Ball. Um, so you get on and you create an account in one of your history classes at the beginning of the year, and it you know obviously people can do their own independent volunteer thing. So if they have something else that isn't, but well, I'll I'll, I'll explain what extra well is first. Um, but so Miss Miss Evans and some people down in the counseling office um, communicate with local places and ask if they need volunteers. So a constant one that we always had volunteers going to were Little League baseball fields, like working at the concession <coughs> stand, or we were, they, they seemed to be in constant communication with the ASO field, so roughing a soccer game or painting the lines. So you go on, and then you have these list of opportunities, and then you can say, I want to sign up for this, and then you sign up for it, you go to it, and then the person who is in charge um, gets a notification from x 2 because you put their email in, their phone in, number in, and they verify your hours. Um, you write a report about what you did, just, just something small, uh, what you took away from it, and then Ms. Evans verifies it, and then you have, say, three hours for doing an activity. Um, and then if you're doing something, uh, I know that we had a student who was doing a lot of work volunteer work in Syracuse. So it wasn't something set up by the school, but she was able to do the volunteer work, um, put in the number of the person who was overseeing it, and then the person, like the other people who are doing more local things, uh, they verify it, and then it goes to Ms. Evans, and she verifies it, and then everyone gets their hours. So it's, it's orderly, and it's, um, it's easy to do, and the teachers are really great at reminding us to check this website to see what is available to us um, and to stay on top of our hours and to make sure that we are trying to pace ourselves um, in order to get it all done. Okay, thank you. You're Anyone else? Okay, well, while we're on people who's, for whom this is the last meeting, <laughs> I would like to just say how much we've appreciated having Jeff Field on the school board. Um, Yay. <laughs> I, I really valued your thoughtful and thorough vetting of the issues that we had to face and deal with. And uh, you've just been a very dedicated and constant member. And I just want to say thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>
again, the great thing with this is it allows us to push everything out in one shot. It goes on our website, it goes on our app, it goes on Instagram, it goes on Facebook, all in one shot as opposed to going to three or four different platforms. Very interactive, and the app, will, um, uh, the same thing. Um, we're going to roll all of our communications to ParentSquare, um, meaning that the emails won't be on the app or on the website because we filtered everybody down to parents where for the most part. Um, another district that's, that did this uh, found that their um, um, people breaking into the system was a lot less because they couldn't kind of find the emails. You know, you go to a public site, you get to look at the emails and pull them down. Um, so South Carolina Falls went back to last year, and it worked out great when they pulled the emails from the, from the website. Not saying that you can't email the teacher straight out, that's not good, but you're not going to be able to find them on the site. So I'm kind of very excited. We've done a lot of work over the last couple of months with Aptitude. Our communication specialist has rolled everything over, so it'll be an easy transition, and uh, we'll kick it off July 7th. So very excited about that. Um, we have an array of things coming up uh, next week and the week after. So as we put out the uh, weekly or biweekly reminders, just take a look at the list of events. Uh, I mean, next week we have uh, Athletic Awards Night. We have a CT graduation night. We have a retirement party. We have the, uh, the uh, awards night for high school, and then the week after is all graduations every night, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So a great time uh, to celebrate all the successes uh, for the year coming up. And it's been a fast year, uh, a really fast year. You looked up, it was March, and March went through pretty quick. Uh, and uh, it's, it's been fast. Uh, so closing up quick, and the next couple weeks will be very, um, uh, very busy, uh, put it that way. Um, besides that, Everything else is uh, on par to finish up the year. The high school has three days left before Regency ends. So, it's so all fast. All set? Okay, thank you. Okay, next uh, report is on the policy committee. So, we have uh, six policies. A policy committee went over uh, last month because I can't get on the system and just kind of kind of, if you can click to. Yep. So a combination of things. These all come from NISBA. Remember, we've gone from Erie, uh, BOCES, to NISBA with our policies. And we're rolling over some of those. And some of them are just um, old, meaning you know over 10 years old, but they just haven't been updated. So our first policy on there is 5660. And it has to do with school safety plans. And the only addition to that was, if you see it highlighted, it says include emergency instruction plan. That's the only addition to that. Uh, because New York State is now in your safety plan has said you have to identify your remote instructor, you know, from COVID. So we had to put that line in there. So that's it pretty much for that one. I was going to say that one of the things that I don't think it has to be in the policy, but reading through it, uh, it lists incidents that have occurred in school of mm -hmm. different types during the year. And while I don't think we need to hear uh, details or anything like that, I would love for the board on a yearly basis, just to get a summary of the different types of incidents that we've experienced in the last year, just to kind of get a sense of you know what what is going on in that day of that nature. Incidents meaning what it describes here. Um, um, I, Oh no, I'm sorry. 7545. Okay. My bad. Next, 7545. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this one's school safety and educational climate reporting. Uh, this used to be what's called Bader. You remember that? They just switched it over to school safety and it's called SSEC reporting now. The policy just has to say that we are obligated to report, which we are. But New York State rule at the end of the year we have to report any um, issues that might occur like uh, Weapons on school grounds. Bullying, uh, harassment. Suspensions. Yes. Yeah. Um, suspensions with the violent um, SS, SSEC uh, codes, which would be uh, fighting, uh, weapons, uh, use of drugs, uh, things of that nature. Um, so that, that report prints out every year for us from school tool because it takes all of our data from our referral system and kicks out the report. Um, usually very minimal. We can attach the report each year and give it to you. Yep. Now that I'm on the right policy. <laughs> yes. 
And there's different levels of harassment and bullying in terms of, I want to say different levels. Um, bullying in definition, um, you know, is a repeated act, an empowerment on someone. It's a one-time case. It doesn't go down as bullying. It's a one-time situation. So the definition is very clear to that. So when you'll see, you might see four cases of bullying because that's pretty much what we, you know, confirmed for the year in terms of something that's going on repeatedly through the year. Um, you, you said bullying is defined as pattern. That Correct. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So not just like you said, you have one time. Right, right. 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 And I think some people have a misconception with that. The New York State has defined it. You know, and that's the way we got to report. Well, what if it's like one time with different people though? What if it's the same person yes. bullying, but there's four different people? That that would qualify. Okay. Yep. Yep. So a pattern. There's your pattern. Yep. Mm -hmm. So that's um, it's a new policy, but that's just the policy because we have to see it. We have to report. Which is kind of. Uh, because of the New York State law, we have to report. So, 7619 um, is an updated policy use of timeout rooms and physical restraints. This was just updated by New York State completely, and our policy was 10 years old. So, this was just since again we've had Erie Bosi's policy, they came out with a brand new one. So, we just replaced it with this new one, updated through, through NISBA. Um, Can I just ask a question? Yeah. Do we use uh, timeout rooms and how effective? We are have they? a timeout room space. We have not utilized it this year based on the students within our within our classroom. Um, so it hasn't been necessary this year. <coughs> it's not. It's really to keep the individual and the staff safe. Um, it's not the most useful tool. You really need to use a lot of other interventions. But in a you know in an emergency situation, it's it's usable. But there's a lot of rules that go with it and how you utilize it and notify people prior, after, and steps that you have to take. So the policy honestly is just catching up with what special ed is already doing. So. Yeah. I'm really happy to hear that we haven't had to use. No, not this year. That's so, great. Yeah. Uh, the next policy is an update to. Um, IEPs um, in terms of what the students and parents uh, rights. Uh, so that was updated in the bottom part on page three. Again, that was from NISBA to make sure you had it in your policy. So we added that piece to the policy. And a question, is there anything new about how we approach IEPs based on this? We've been, we stay up with all New York State rules and regulations. So really, again, the policy for the district is just catching up to what we've already been doing. 8450 is homebound instruction, and the only addition there is they moved the hours. Uh, and it used to be in primary educate, primary uh, grade levels, you had to give an hour a day. If a student was homebound instruction, now it's two hours. And the secondary level was two hours, now it's three hours a day. And while someone sitting here who does it for us understands how difficult it, it is to get that many hours in, you know, there's also built in there to do the best that you possibly can. Uh, you might not be able to get three hours a day, but that's your plan to do all the time. So that's just the change here, as you can see. Um, and then the last one was uh, online learning course credit. Um, same thing as we did with the policy previous was the district has its emergency remote instruction plan if it's closer to two or more days to use. So we have to close down because of, a, of a, um, um, a water main break. We don't have to move to our remote instruction plan per se, but if it's two or more days, they'd like to see us move to the remote instruction plan. Make sense? That's so very basic on four of them and two that are kind of brand new. Any questions? And they send us, as I told Mark, they send us rounds of policy updates three times a year for the most part. Of it. So as we get to the next round, we'll bring those in one time. This is our kind of our first reading. If you have any questions next meeting, um, we'll, we'll approve them. So if you have any questions over the next month, let me know. Okay. Um, any other questions right now? We'll move on to approvals. Um, first, we'll have to do the minutes from the May 25th meeting uh, because Patty wasn't there. So uh, any questions about those minutes? Motion to approve. Second. All in favor? All right. Thank you. Any, any uh, abstention? Abstention? Yeah. Thank you. Okay, I'd like to ask for a motion for a consent agenda 
for B C T. Second. All in favor? Okay. And start going down the list. Uh, minutes May 4th, anything there? Um May Charlie May 4th. Budget transfer schedule. Bills. Treasurer's report. Okay. Distribute interest from uh, extracurricular accounts. I just have a question of uh, how much is involved in I don't imagine it's much. I don't know. I don't know. Penny, it's pennies, right? Yes, it's sir. probably $10. Dollars, I was just, no. I was, it was just kind of a humorous question. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you brought it up. It's surprising. You can't show it to the interest. Reorganization meeting. Is that good for everyone? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, fitness center agreement. Any questions there? Let's just start on one thing about the fitness center. Upstate uh, cerebral palsy. Any questions? Anyway, I have forgot one. about Eminem. Um, I looked through the agreement and there's no one power. It's a state, it's a state, um, state provides, so it's a standard fee for the state. So I would have to look up what that is. It's, it's given the state sets the choice. So we don't, you don't get to agree to it. It's just, this is it. This is what you're going to get. Yeah. <laughs> okay. so, sorry, normally I look for the I get it. Yep. yep. Okay, uh, contract for services, industrial UI services. Is that urinary infection services? <laughs> I also thought that, but that's... <laughs> what is yours? It's our unemployment company. Any questions? All right, uh, St. Anne's Institute, any differences there? Nope, continue. Okay, same question for Northeast Merit. Same. Um, agreement for OT services? Our, this is for CPSE. We had another provider, Renee Mosier, who starting in the fall will no longer be available to provide OT evaluations for the medical agency. Jen Kelly, who works through um, Lucid <coughs> OT, will be independent for us um, to provide those evaluations. Um, except bid for legal services? We did an RFP, sent it out, and the only company that sent it back, and I was super happy with that. Uh, transportation bid? Um, I, have, I have a question on that. Um, there's a price difference. It's, it's uh, 3 15 in the summer per day at 6 30 in the school year. Why? Because there's reduced in services during the summer because summer you are not you are just maintaining, you're not gaining. Um, Skills, that's how they look at it in terms of IEP world. The purpose of summer and extended school year is just to continue. Yeah. There's also so, two students. Oh, and I'm sorry, and there's two students, yes. I was thinking about a different contract with OT, but this is transportation, so I have two students that will be going so, to that spot. Yeah, I apologize. Oh, so that's, during the school year there would be two? Yep, and during the summer, the summer we're continuing with one that students in, C the second student is in CPSC, so they will not be going until next year. Yeah, yeah. yeah we don't have no It's, in the, it's, out, it's in, out of order. Oh, yeah, okay. Yep. It's hand. Yeah. Huh. This is reading a little bit. Okay, good? Yep. Okay. Yeah, four ducks must be out of the moment because I can't get in. Mm -hmm. This is R, and yours is A. <laughs> yeah, something's. Yeah. Okay, and then uh, as the salary increases, uh, it would be 4% for all non-union employees, which would include you all, I would assume. No, they have their own contract. Mm -hmm. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, I mean, we'll take agree. I'll take <laughs> Deal. <laughs> um, any questions there? Okay, and finally, surplus items. Mm. A lot of music stuff. Oh. No tears on that one, okay? <laughs> okay. All right, so um, I uh, entertain a motion to approve the consent agenda. Okay. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Thank you. 
Going on to personnel, um, unless anyone has an objection, I will entertain a motion for the consent agenda on personnel. Okay, um, so we'll just go down. Summer stars, teachers. You want to take a look at these quickly? Pretty much the same ones. There's just one more. Summer aids. Food service. Summer transportation. Just stop me. Um, <laughs> cleaners. Summer cleaner. Department chairpersons. Any changes here? No. We're done. That's We can talk after. Elaine and I will take time. My last one. There's some kidding. Advisors. Athletic coordinator. Appoint teachers on special assignment. Is there a residence? Um, I have a question. Um, the way it's stated, it's um, special assignment for the school year. I thought it was just going to be for one semester. No, school year. It's the whole year. Yeah. Okay. We're budget for the whole year. We were I, I thought it was going to be two and then two. No, it's because we couldn't quite all, we couldn't do enough in six months or five months to really ingrain somebody and to go on to the internships and bring it back and then present and uh, work with kids and work with teachers. So. How many Where are they going? Four. Very good, too. Very good pool. Different. Um, uh, all four were different, which is fantastic. And all were very passionate about what they wanted to do. So it was really exciting to see what people, you know, want to be a part of. Where are they going? Um, we'll be meeting with the Chamber of Commerce over the summer uh, to work out the internships. Mostly local because those will start building prison gaps, building relationships, excuse me, with our student ones when we do our student internships. And then if we, you know, we ever to do it, you know, another year, I mean, we'll reevaluate. Um, the other two would be a good fit in the future. Okay, um, any other questions on that? Okay, uh, for the athletic coordinator, nothing to do there. Uh, teachers on special assignment. Uh, tempor a uh, temporary uh, aid. That's just temporary the art of funds. Yeah. Temporary AIS, that's the same. Yep. Special ed teacher, middle school. But there was uh, one who had his resignation because there's going to be another guy with a job in, in uh, you know, Binghamton, so she's going with him. And right now, our current math teacher at middle school is moved over to special ed. Specialized certified in that. Okay, and uh, say to the high school. What's up? Brand new hire. Brand new hire. That's the new position. Congratulations. Very Yay. much so. Very tough position for them to, to get. Uh, point B replacement. Temporary school counselor. Mm -hmm. Continue. Continue with Jack. Okay. Doing great. Um, appointment energy manager. Okay. Um, that's the uh, second year of the. Uh, yeah, it was a grant. Remember, we got the extra hundred thousand dollars, so uh, we had figured out how much that would extend it to, and it extended to June ten for us, two thousand point five. Then there's this other thing: this contract extension for some guy named yeah. Fitzgerald. You might want to keep him around. Not shady. <laughs> Okay, and substitute cleaner. Only if we extend the cut with the share of the substitute cleaner. I'm the substitute cleaner. That's part of the extension. Extending your role. That's part of the extension. Keep it grounded. Okay, uh, I would entertain a motion to approve the personnel consent agenda. I'll make a motion. Approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. Congratulations, Nick. Okay, new business. Uh, draft meeting dates. Any, uh, I mean, this could change, but at this point, any issues with the, with the proposed agenda? I'm just going to put it out there just because I happen to know that Good Friday is March 29th. 
and March 28th is when we have a meeting. I'm going to so mess with you. Right before the break. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm just saying that that might be a problem, that you might want to move it now before you set it in stone. I'm not going to do And we've historically done it. Want to just move it now? Sure. Okay, one step up a week or two more for Tuesday? We just do one step. Wednesday. 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 Wednesday's good? The day before? Yeah. Okay. We've got plenty of time. Okay, so March 27th. The information will be Sounds good. Any other questions about any of the dates? Okay. Um, and uh, the other thing is the board retreat. Yep. Is that the pick? Mm -hmm. That's not the yeah. Oh, is, yeah. Is that the pick a date? Um, was it Lori said that Tuesday and Wednesdays are good for her during July? And this last year we did it. Um, let's see. We did it. Everybody's okay with it. And say that messes up good because we have our three day retreat as admin, so we'll have, we'll have all of our plenary stuff done for the school year, so we can check that out. That's true. You said that's two teams, but that's not July. I know. <laughs> what time? You should do it like a night time. Seven or six? Five. Six or whatever. Who's the one over there? Right. Or oh, five, yeah. Five. Right. Good. You need a five to five? Um, I think I'll move it. Of November? Okay. What? The bike ride around Walter's Vineyard. Mm. Yeah. That's fun. What about the following week, the 25th? Yeah. 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 Okay. 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 Issues that we'd like to be discussing with that retreat, and we'll come up with an agenda for tonight meeting. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, then uh, move on to uh, all business. I mentioned at the last meeting about the Newsboro Leadership and Education event. Um, it's on July 28th and 29th in Albany. Um, I know uh, Laurie's already said that she signed up for it. Um, and I, I have the flyer for it, and I'll pass it around, and I just look at it, and if it's something, <laughs> if, if it's something you would be interested in, it looks like a really uh, pertinent and meaningful agenda. You know, I'd like to go, and uh, as I said, Lori already is in the game, and she's going. Um, and anyone else would like to go, that would be good as well. Let me just ask, does everyone receive these things from this book? So you guys have got them. Yes. I just want to make sure. I, I, I don't know. So if you, if you do want to go, please let Andrea know and uh, so she can sign you up and, and then we can kind of coordinate uh, travel and all at the July meeting. Or, or we'll get that okay. Thank you. Um, do you need an executive session? Quickly. Quickly. Okay. I'd like to motion to move into a tech. Motion. All in favor. Have a wonderful evening. You can leave now. <laughs>